أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل لا يستوي الخبيث والطيب ولو أعجبك كثرة الخبيث فاتقوا الله يا أولي الألباب لعلكم تفلحون رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين السلام عليكم In this ayah this is the hundredth ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah this is the seventh juz uh, alhamdulillah in which Allah commands his prophet to say قل لا يستوي الخبيث والطيب the filthy and the good and pure are not equal they are not equal the first thing to note is Allah didn't just say the filthy and the good are not equal he told the prophet to say it because the Prophet ﷺ will be the representative of Allah determining what is good and what is filthy and what is, you know, what is, what is acceptable and what's not acceptable. So the Muslims have to stay on point and, and understand that that standard will be the Prophet himself ﷺ. A lot of times in this discussion we say society will decide. Society will decide what's normal and what's not, what's filthy and what's good, what's acceptable and what's unacceptable. And the line keeps changing, right? So every few years, what used to be unacceptable before is totally acceptable. So, you know, in the entertainment in the industry, what used to be rated R became PG-13, then became PG, and it's like fine now. And it was completely unacceptable maybe 50 years ago. But standards change. So how far do you take the standards? Where, how far, where do you draw the line? The Prophet ﷺ has been authorized by Allah to draw that line. That's one of the purposes He's there. And so tell them, the filthy and the good are not the same. وَلَوْ أَعْجَبَكَ كَثْرَةُ الْخَبِيثِ Check this out. Even if the multitude of filth impresses you, even if it's got you dazzled, meaning filth will be plenty and it's going to be everywhere. And you're going to say, everybody's doing it. Everybody talks like that. What are you talking about? Chill out, man. Why you got to be weird? Because weird is that which is rare. Strange, unacceptable is that which is uncommon. And what's common is acceptable. So Allah says filth will become acceptable. But no matter how acceptable it becomes and how common it becomes in society, you can't forget that filth and good and pure things will never be equal. What is wrong will remain wrong even if all your friends are up to it. Even if it's every, everywhere you turn you see it. It won't make it right. وَلَوْ أَعْجَبَكَ كَثْرَةُ الْخَبِيثِ Who, What kind of people will recognize that though? فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Then watch out for Allah. Ya ulil albab, people of sound minds, clear thought, people whose thoughts are not cult like uh, like uh, contaminated by culture, they're not contaminated by the overwhelming onslaught of propaganda, of the of the blind sheep mentality. Everybody's doing the same thing, so my, that must be the right thing to do. That cannot be the way you think. You know, there are people who celebrate certain things and they don't even know why they celebrate them. They have no clue why they celebrate them. There are certain holidays people are like die to celebrate, but they have no idea why they're celebrating them. Mostly because other people are celebrating them. Don't become a sheep. You have to be people of clear, open, deep thought. So that you can attain success. And that's the final thing. You see everybody else doing something and you might think they must be doing it because it leads to success. And Allah says no. No matter how many people are doing it, and no matter how much you think they're leading themselves to success, you better watch out for Allah and use your thought and stick to the good and pure if you are the people that want to be successful. The final comment from this ayah that I want to share with you is the word iflah. Allah didn't say la'allakum tafuzun, so that you can be successful. There's another verb in Arabic for success. He, has, he says tuflihun. Iflah is used when you farm, when you plant a seed, when you, when you make the soil soft when you water it, when you make sure it gets enough sun, when you make sure the weeds don't come, make sure the bugs don't come, you work the entire year on this farm and eventually you see success. Tuflihun is used when you put a lot of work into something. Allah is indicating that fighting against the filth and looking for the good and pure in a world that's surrounded by filth and only rarely do you find instances of good and pure is going to be a lot of hard work and that success will come at a price. It's not just going to happen. You're gonna to have to put a lot of work into it. Finding good and pure friends, finding good and pure entertainment, finding good and pure things to read, finding good and pure, you know, a, a good and pure a, a career, source of income. All of these things are gonna be a lot of effort. Even finding good and pure food to eat. All of these things are gonna take a lot, a lot, a lot of effort on your part. 
but it is worth it in the end because you did all of it because you were cautious of Allah and you wanted to attain success and you never let your thoughts be cluttered. You remained from ulil albab. You remained from the people of clear and concise thought. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.